you kind of like led, you will jump down to, you kind of like led into this with talking about the guys that have like two cars or like that do back and forth between no prep Kings and then racing on the street. And we've seen guys like Ryan, Dave and doc are now all coming out with cars specifically for no prep Kings. Do you have any plans on coming out with a car specifically for something like that? Uh, I'd love to tell you that I do, but man, I, I don't have the money to build. I don't, I'm fucking broke. You know? <laughs> to be honest with you, I can't, you know, um, I, uh, I understand why they're doing it. I understand the need that there's a need for it. You know, it, it would, it would make your life a lot easier if you had, um, a no prep car and then your street race car stayed street race car. So mm-hmm. when you came home from no prep, you know, you got to understand, uh, a lot of these guys have, you know, when I started going to no prep, I would show up Thursday night and drive all night, show up there and I'm in the truck by myself and Jackie's in uh, her truck by herself and she's hauling all the merch. So we would drive all night. We'd get there Thursday night, go to set the pit up and, not, you know, not very many of the other drivers were there, you know, and it was a uh, cruise, you know, so it's really tough to do this if you don't have, you know, extra stuff or two, two of everything or, or a crew of guys or whatever. So, you know, um, to build another car, it would be, it would be way, it would be a whole lot um, less stressful if you could come home from no prep because sometimes we're on the road for two, three weeks at a time, you could come home from no prep Kings and your street race car is sitting there ready to go or, you know, or very close. And then you can go street race and then jump back in the no prep rig and drive off. Like, you know, I understand the need for, I understand that the convenience that that allows, but, uh, but I also understand that, you know, I have the attention span of a parakeet, you know what I mean? Like I can't pay attention to something to, to, you know, like I have one race car, you know what I mean? So I, that's all I can do right now. Uh, I would love to build a new car. I would love to build a, you know, more aerodynamic spaceship looking, you know, thing like I'd love to, that would be, uh, that'd be awesome. Especially with all the new cars that are coming out now for no prep Kings, you know, I mean, if, if everybody thought I was behind last season, Jesus, I'm 50 <laughs> years behind this season, you know, so, mm-hmm. uh, I don't have any plans for that right now. No, I would, I would, uh, I'd love to do something like that, but right now I got one car and, uh, it's a, it, it does it all, you know, so I gotta I, make do with what I got. Another question what I was going to ask was, do you do you have any plans for the crow mod? But after hearing that, I assume the answer would be no. Any plans for what the crow mod? Yeah. Um, I mean now, right now, there's nothing to do with it. You know, mm-hmm. Every, all the attention is centered around the steel body stuff. So, all the energy, all the money, all the races, all the you know purses, all the media, everything is centered around the steel body stuff or the uh, the. Vin, you know, Vin Tag or whatever they're calling them. I hate to say steel body because not all of them are, but uh, yeah, all the all the energy is surrounding production based cars. So, you know, the Chrome mod f- doesn't fit into any of that. You know, mm-hmm. and I'm not uh, I'm not the type of guy to go glue some shit to it and say it's something that it ain't. You know what I mean? So, it's a pro mod, and that's what I'm gonna do with it one day you know, or whatever, or, or I'll have to sell it so I can start up a YouTube channel or something after I get fired <laughs> from this interview. So right now it's just holding parts up. Really, it's a workbench. <laughs>